page right outside the Student Resource Center. Here we have some honey locust trees. These trees are deciduous trees, and in the winter, right now we're in the month of December, they lose all of their trees. You can see how really bare the branches are. Look over here at that tree. There's some Christmas ornaments hanging down. What we see here are actually bagworms, which are a type of moth. In the spring, the eggs of the bagworms hatch and become caterpillars. The caterpillars feed on the leaves of the host trees. They then construct these bags out of silk and chewed up leaves. You can see bits of the leaves stuck on the silk making up this bag. Look over here at this tree. We actually have, it looks like, way more of these bagworms hanging down. We have two beautiful bagworms hanging right next to each other here. Around September, the caterpillars form a pupa inside of this bag. They pupate for about a few weeks. After they mature into adults, well, it really depends on what the sex of them is. If it's a male, it will emerge from its bag. The male here is this bag right here. You can see that the pupa had exited with this tube that is hanging down. It's opened up and there's nothing inside. With the bag, you can really see the debris, the leaves that were on this tree earlier in the year. This other bag is a female. You can see because it doesn't have a tube down on the bottom, so because the females don't leave the bag. The female has no wings, no legs because she doesn't need to walk, she has no mouth because she doesn't need to eat, and she also has no eyes because, well, what really is inside the bag for her to see? The male, on the other hand, has wings and is more looks more like your average moth. The female is really just a bag, but she is totally irresistible to males because she, the female releases a pheromone that drives males absolutely crazy. If a male sniffs a female, he flies to her and mates with her while she is in the bag. After they mate, the female lays hundreds of eggs inside the bag and dies soon afterwards. Remember, she doesn't eat anything, so really she's just a sex machine, right inside this bag. The eggs will live in, inside of the mother over the winter. Then in the spring, the caterpillars will hatch and that will complete their life cycle. Let's take a look to see what's inside this female bag. You can see that the bag is attached with a loop of silk that she constructed as a caterpillar. Now let's just snip this off and get a better look, okay. Now the silk is pretty thick. Let's put that right back up there. And we will start by cutting off the tip of the bag so we can get inside of here. I will try not to cut the female open. There we go. It's a little bit tough to cut. Oh, there she is. Look at her. I've got to get some of that silk out of the way. Okay. As you can see, she is just a black blob. She's just a bag. <clears throat> if we find any eggs inside of her, we would probably kill the eggs, but that doesn't really matter because they are pests. Because they defoliate a host tree like this honey locust. Okay, let's open her up and see if she has any eggs. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Wow, look at that. You can see it's not open all the way, but you can see these yellow little eggs inside of her. 
she, the female, really devotes her life to laying these eggs. Obviously, she died so that they could live inside of her. So, next time you see these little ornaments hanging on a tree, you should think of this remarkable story of the bagworm. Thank you so much for joining us here today. My name is Marta Timmerman, and have a great day. Bye.